Hey, it's The Average Dan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a brake controller in a Nissan Armada the easy way. All right, guys, so we just picked up a new tow vehicle to tow our 2014 Jayco Whitehawk. This is the 2015 Nissan Armada. We went with the Armada because it has a 9,000 pound tow capacity. So in this video, I wanna show you how to install a brake controller. And I'll tell you what, we went with the easy method here because it's simply the way to go. It's cost effective. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to buy and how you need to install it. Let's take a look. All right, so I just wanted to show you the brake controller that I'm actually going to use for this install. This is the Takanchi. Primus IQ 90160. There'll be a link in the description below so you can check that out. And then I also mentioned that I'm going to do this the easy way. So the 2015 Armada actually comes with this uh, harness attachment that you can wire to an existing uh, brake controller. The issue with it is that there are uh, five wires and the less than clear instructions on what each wire is. Uh, so I decided to take a quick look online and see exactly what was available for adapters. And uh, wouldn't you know it, there is the Takancha 3050P, which is a perfect attachment. It already has the ends on it. Yes, you could wire this yourself, but uh, I have wired a few of these in the past and I'll tell you that, that this is the, the least intuitive uh, setup that I've seen and what could be easier than using the harness that already has both ends attached. So we're going to install this and use this. Again, Takancha 3050P, it's less than $10, so why would you bother trying to wire uh, this particular harness to the back of this four wire uh, brake controller? So we're gonna get that all set up. I'm gonna show you how to mount this in the Nissan Armada, and we'll hook this up and we'll be ready to go. All right, so I just wanted to show you inside the box of the Primus IQ real quick to show you exactly what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, as you can see, it comes with the hardware to mount it. It comes with the uh, harness here with the four wires uh, as compared to the one that comes with the Nissan Armada, which has five. You have your mounting bracket right here. And then we have the actual brake controller, which I'll show you right here. Um, and it also comes with a different different method of mounting it here with two screws and this clips on here and you can display that right there like that. So we're going to show you how to exactly install this uh, using one of these brackets and then as you can see on the back of this you have the plug for the harness which is going to go on the one that we just purchased. It's a nice easy fit right there. And then what we're going to show you here in a minute is underneath the dashboard in the Armada, there is a connection tucked under there that looks just like this. We'll be able to basically plug and play this brake controller and uh, be set up for towing for the season. All right, so I had trouble seeing the actual connection just by putting my head under there. And I think I've read that it might be right about here. So we're gonna take off this panel, see if that gives us a better look at exactly where that is. It's supposed to be zip tied or something up there so you can uh, just clip the zip tie and it'll drop down and then you can plug it in. But Yeah, I just don't know. Don't want to break. It. Oh, it's just kind of tough. All right, so once you remove the panel, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. It's literally labeled right here. And as you can see, there's a zip tie holding it there. So we're just going to cut that to allow this to drop down. And then we will put the front back on. We'll get that all hooked up. Again, it was two Phillips screws, so super easy. Uh, it took about five seconds to get it off, so. Give that a very gentle. Make sure you guys can see that good. And that should just that tape off of there and there it is so we will feed this down 
beat it down behind the bar so you can put this all back together and we'll be able to access that from the bottom. All right guys, so here's a tip to make this a little bit easier. As you can see, once you un untape it, it's really kind of short. So rather than trying to feed this behind this and try to get back to this when you're upside down underneath the dashboard, go ahead and get your adapter. We're gonna attach the adapter while we're here and upright so it's not so bad. And there's a little, there's a square cutout inside the clip that shows you how to do this. You plug it on, there's an obvious clip that lets you know you are secure. And then you can just feed this part back down and under. And then when you get down there, you can decide exactly where you wanna, where you wanna hide that. But I'm also gonna feed it above this because we're gonna attach the thing on the opposite side, but that'll allow us a much easier time of dealing with this thing once we uh, once we're upside down there. So, so as you can see now, this comes out underneath the dash. We have our attachment that we can easily attach to the back of the brake controller, so we can put the this back on the little uh, molding here, and then we can get underneath and actually attach the brake controller. All right, so the one thing you want to consider uh, when you're sitting down in terms of where to place this is you want to be able to reach it with your hand. Uh, what I'm going, because it does have a manual uh, apply there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the right side here. So um, don't really want to drill through the front of this plastic, but if you reach down just along the bottom, there's a flat section across the bottom and there's a gap between the front of it and where some metal starts back there. So I'm gonna to try to drill a couple holes right about here and mount that uh, brake controller here. And then it's just a matter of plugging it in with the harness that is now right there between my feet. There you go. We'll just take the brake controller and before we clip it in, we'll plug it in. Again, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of shaped like an L. I don't know if you can see that. It has that one little side that sticks up and if you look at the back of the, uh, the brake controller, you'll see that as well. So you just line those up. You hear the click, it's good to go. Tuck in the back first. Hey, so that's pretty much all there is to it. The link to the brake controller and the adapter are in the description below. If you have any questions about this installation, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to get back to you and help you any way I can. That's all for now. If you would like to continue to see videos about RV camping, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, this is The Average Dan. Thanks.